need to be our little owl teacher get raised your hand and cold. And that is a phenomenal class. Great reviews from all of our students. She's a wonderful teacher and uh, makes you come alive. So if you're, if you're a new beginner and uh, maybe you've had it before and need a refresher, Nicole is your uh, morale, your teacher. She'll do a great job in that. Level bet with Rosalie. We'll get you to that next level. And reading and writing, you know, and script. Wow, rock, all the above. And we got Gimel. This job's down here. I'll look at Gimel with Iris. Yay, Iris is ready to hand right there. Iris is a wonderful new teacher. And she will get you to modern Hebrew. And I uh, think with her, are you done with rock by the time they get to you? They're still doing rock, Iris. They're doing script when they get to you. They're doing script in modern Hebrew and uh, beautiful. She does all the above. And then this year we've been adding on Gimel. Alright, uh, we're going to show you uh, add another level. So we'll start with that in seven. The sign is already open online, I think. You can go to uh, mycityandhill.org on the Hebrew tab and you can get signed up online there. We, and you will be here after seven. Uh, excellent. I think uh, check with Joan beforehand. We talked about it and I never confirmed. So thank you, Joan, for following up. If you're ready, get signed up today with Joan. It's going to be a great new semester. We'll run all the way through uh, the end of December. It'll be a wonderful time. Shabbat morning right here at Catholic School Lutheran. And it's open to members and not members. You know what? There might be a slide for this. And there not. But somewhere I saw that down there. Next week there will be a slide. I saw that I picked on your email. So at that point, I talked to you guys that does the slides meet. And uh, <laughs> that's why they got forgotten. But uh, take it away, brother. In season, not in season, I'll be the favorite. Okay. With the Lord's strength, I'll get through this. Amen. Uh, so, Foundation Sports next. Uh, are we, next week. Final one. Final one for next week? Yeah. So, this will be the sixth or seventh? Eighth. Eighth? I'm losing track. We'll still welcome you. Yeah, so if you haven't come, you're welcome to come. It's been an amazing um, discussion and education on what we're doing, what are the scriptures that back it up, and how to prepare yourself to give an answer for uh, questions that may come your way. So it's super beautiful. Hebrew class, sorry, so do you want me to go through? Okay, yeah. So sorry, September 7th, adults and children, uh, so it is $120 for members, and $250 for non-members, um, and we ask that you bring people to sit down for later. I really encourage uh, everyone who might have had a meeting to study the Hebrew. It will open so many insights to your understanding of Scripture and uh, it open doors to share your faith as well. So, tacos and tour are coming up. Uh, fellowship breakfast, please bring a dish. Eduardo and Philippe will be sharing uh, their testimonies about their recent trip to Israel. We had the blessing of having them over last night for Shabbat, and we got to hear a preview of some of those stories, and so I really encourage you to come to that. There's so much to share. Uh, she was so faithful and both bring encouragement from our community in Texas over to Israel, and then also blessing the service still as they went. So I encourage you and um, hope you can make it out for that. Flyers, flyers, and a lot of Okay, flyers and a lot of them. Well. Okay, on the table by the main entrance. So we're on that. It's going to be an inches house, and we do ask you to uh, RSVP. All right. And then Oneg after uh, after the service, Oneg means joy. So let's uh, enjoy some food together. I believe it means joy. Is that, is that delight. Right? Delight. 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 Okay, delight. Um, so let's uh, have great fellowship. Please br uh, bring food if you're uh, not if you're guests. You're not required to bring uh, food, but if you are and you come regularly, please bring food. We've been praying for more food privately because we've noticed those at the end of the line uh, don't have quite the same options. And last week, I think Isaiah, my son, noticed this morning, he's like, Dad, God's answering the prayer. The last Sunday, there was way more food than normal. I don't know if you noticed that, but um, you're welcome to, to serve in that way, too. And please help with picking up if you're, if you're able to do that. Thank you for all you who serve in that regard. It's a huge blessing.
you know, there's work that comes with the light, right? The light just doesn't come without effort. So thank you for, for all those who bring the effort to help make sure we have the light together. And then, uh, Well, uh, Marta, we, my wife, we didn't plan this, but we were together this morning praying, and we got a word, and, and I was like, Lord, do I deliver this publicly? And I wasn't sure, but uh, you handed me the mic, and I was like, Lord, if you give me an opportunity, I'll share it. I'll be grateful. So, uh, you know, you get nervous to come up here. You're like, Lord, I, uh, it wasn't part of this, the, the plan, but... Um, Marty got this word. Do you want to uh, share quickly when you got the word? Um, yeah, we were talking this morning, just as a family, we got together and we got our instruments out. And sleepily started just coming together to worship the Lord as a family. Um, not everybody was up with the word this morning, which was great. Um, but we started talking about um, just praying. And what you can say about possessing the land, but we started praying about relationships and just things in our own life. And I was like, Lord, if there's a block there, we knew that. We we've been praying against the spirit of delay and any kind of block. And I, he helped me recall the scripture that says something about. I was like, Hey, see, what's that scripture about taking the rocks out of the road? And he looked it up. Well, she's often more spiritually tuned than I am, so I just went to Google. I was like, Google, what's that scripture about removing the, the block? And it comes up, and as I pull it up and I say, oh, it's, it's Isaiah 57, she had already opened her scriptures to that page automatically, not remembering what part of the scriptures it was in. Look right there. So we knew what was to So here's the word, Isaiah 57. This is for all of us who have felt blocked, who have been humbled, who have been broken, who need a block removed out of the way, both as a congregation and individually. And I'll start in the middle of verse 13. But the, I'm sorry. <clears throat> but he that put his, his trust in me shall possess the land and shall inherit my holy mountain and shall say, cast ye up, cast ye up, prepare the way, take up the stumbling block. Get that block out of the way. We, we need to declare that. He's offered to do it. But we need to speak out in faith and say, yes, may it be done. Out of the way of my people. For, but for thus says the Lord, for us says the, the high and lofty one that inhabit eternity, whose name is holy, I dwell in a high and holy place. And with him also, that is of a contrite and humble heart, to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. And so we just want to declare that and if you believe that's a word for you today, grab hold of it. He is removing the block from you. Amen?